How's it going everybody? Uh, it's been a long time and I thought I'd make one last video. I hope I'm on the camera. I'm not going to try too hard with this one. So the Cal 20 is going to the dump. Um, you know, I did, I made a lot of progress on this boat. I totally redid the bottom. I rebedded the keel. I barrier coated it. I replaced all the bulkheads. Uh, but there was still just so much work to do and at this point it was no longer going to be a live aboard Because um, I had gotten married since I bought it. I planned to live on it originally, you know, kind of a, a little bit extreme, but you know Some of us can live in a much smaller space, but anyway Who knows it probably would have been miserable, but I got married and bought a 26 foot Cape Dory which I did live on with my wife for a little while and uh, enjoyed sailing, you know. So anyway, there's no point in having two boats. I tried selling this old girl. I tried giving it away. I got nothing. Um, it probably would have been easier to give away if I wasn't trying to hang on to the trailer. I may try to hang on to that and get a little bit of money out of it or use it for to hold my little day sailors or something. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to find somebody who would just take it off the trailer and or launch it and tow it away and Didn't have any luck and to be honest with you. I think that's a good thing. I probably saved somebody from The same kind of heartache that I had of taken on a project um, Because you think you're getting an inexpensive boat and just Tragically underestimating the amount of labor the cost of materials for doing repairs like this I paid $800 for this boat and it was in New Jersey. I'm in Florida. I paid another $800 just to get it towed down here, which was cheap. Um, you know, and that, that should have been my first clue that immediately I doubled the price just getting it to where I was. And then I have thousands of dollars of materials into this boat and I have probably a hundred labor hours into this boat because it was a learning experience for me, you know, and um, if I saved all that money up and all that time up, I could have bought myself a nice $20,000 boat. There, there, it would have been a no brainer. So anyway, if anyone out there is thinking of taking on a project boat, unless you really love sweating it out in a boat yard and going home covered in fiberglass day after day after day, I recommend just pick up a second a job or a third job, save some extra money and just buy a boat that you don't need to work on. Because you'll do plenty of work on it, using it, uh, but don't buy a project boat. That's the... So, signing off on the Cal 20. I hope uh, some of the information I posted was helpful to anybody else who was considering, you know, doing workers in the middle of a project. I know I learned a lot about working on sailboats to do this, and I use that knowledge to fix up, you know, the, uh, do some of the small things that needed to be done to the Cape Dory, which included like pulling out the Seahawks, glassing over the through hull hulls, through hull holes, um, doing the barrier coat, doing the bottom paint, learned all of that on this. And so the, it was a very valuable experience in that way. Um, but I never got to sail it, never even got it wet. So good luck to everybody out there and we'll see you around.